In today's video, I'm going to tell you how to safely transport your hot Ackett's pie home. All right, you guys, so thanks to Taylor. She has helped me in another video. She's helping again today, and here she is telling a customer how to transport this very hot pie. So I just want to let you know that your pie is very hot. It just came out of the oven a few minutes ago. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the lid open in the bag for you so that the steam can escape because if the steam gets stuck in there, the crust will get soft and that's no fun. So when you go to carry this box, make sure that you carry it by the handles and on the bottom because if this pie tips at all, the filling is going to slide right out and it's not going to look very pretty, but it will taste really good. So just be really careful. Keep that lid open until it's fully cooled and you will be all set. Okay, so if we've said it once, we've said it a thousand times. We just heard Taylor giving out that spiel again to another customer, taking home a warm pie or possibly a very hot pie that just came out of the oven. We try not to do that because we don't want any accidents. So if you can imagine, um, if you've ever delivered pizzas, um, you want to keep that box level so that all the toppings and the cheese and everything doesn't slide out. And that's the same thing that will happen with a hot pie. If you tilt that box, you're going to have all the filling on the bottom of your box sliding out. So it takes about three or four hours for that filling to properly set up. If you tilt that box too soon, it's just going to slop all over. You try to serve a hot pie, it's like soup. We don't like to sell hot pie, but sometimes we run out of pies. Pies are constantly coming out of the oven all throughout the day. We're baking fresh all the time. So I just heard the girls say that we just ran out of cherry pie again. So I think they're popping a couple more pies in the oven. But a customer will come in inevitably and need a pie. And it's still warm. It's still just a little bit too hot. It's not totally set up. So Taylor here is telling you to Keep it level, keep it flush, don't tilt it in the bag, don't put it on the seat of your car, put it on a flat surface in your car, preferably the back of your hatchback, and transport it home very safely. So Taylor asked you to keep the lid open. So maybe you keep the lid closed on your way home, but man, as soon as you get home, open that lid, allow the condensation to escape, allow that steam to escape. That pie still, even if it's 100 degrees or 80 degrees and your room temperature is 72 degrees, that pie is going to be warmer than room temperature and it's going to create steam and condensation and you don't want water droplets of condensation dripping down on the top crust. So just like grandma used to cool her pies on that window ledge, at ambient temperature, cooling slowly, cooling in a very natural process. That's what we'd like you to do too with your hot pie. In last week's video, we showed you a lot of disastrous photos of how not to bake an Ackett's pie. And throughout my travels in grocery stores and looking at a lot of competitors' pies, um, I can tell when they have shut the lid on a warm pie. And here's a couple of photos of half pies in plastic clamshell containers. And this pie was warm, the lid was shut. You can see the condensation, you can see the water droplets. Uh, look at the bottom of this pie. It was just wet and soggy and the crust turns white when it just is so waterlogged with all the condensation. Terrible. So that's another reason why we make sure that the pies are perfectly cool before shutting the lid on a pie. We temp our pies to 72 to 74 degrees um, is the proper procedure uh, for our boxing department, our packaging department at our bakehouse before they are allowed to shut a lid and continue the packaging process. So I showed you an example of a really bad pie that was packaged from one of our competitors, packaged too hot. So now I wanna show you an example of a perfect pie. And this is a properly cooled down half pie. You don't see any condensation, no wetness. Uh, this is a caramel nut apple. So it was a Dutch apple pie. 
they put the nuts and the caramel on top, closed the lid. It wasn't, it wasn't hot. The bottom crust looks nice and golden brown and uh, no condensation. So this is a perfect example of a half pie. So I've heard so many stories about how pie did not make it home safely. People eating the pie out of the box with their hands in the car before they got home. I've heard about the guy who brought both of his pumpkin pie homes, put them on the counter, and the dog pulled them off the counter and ate them both. No pie for Thanksgiving for that guy. So that's why we've created this video today, to try to help you to understand the importance of holding your pie level, like Sybil here. So do you have a pie story that you want to share here with the rest of the pie tribe? We'd love to hear it in the comments below. Please feel free to like and share and subscribe. We appreciate you watching today and I'll see you next Wednesday. Bye-bye.